Remember when you could blow out birthday candles when they were still on the cake? When travel meant more than just going to the grocery store? When dressing for work or school meant picking out a top and a bottom? We're ready to get back to our normal lives. And according to more than 175 studies, one of the best ways to do that is by wearing a mask. They're awkward, they're inconvenient, they're kind of unattractive, but they do work. We're learning new info about masks all the time. Here's what we know now. How do masks actually protect me? It's true that COVID-19 virus particles are much smaller than the weave of face masks. So some people say, hold up, how can masks actually prevent the virus particles from getting through? Here's the thing, virus particles do not travel alone. Instead, they group together in globs that form respiratory droplets. When we talk, breathe, cough, or sneeze, these infectious droplets are dispersed into the surrounding air. That's why masks are important. When worn correctly, double-layered cotton and cloth masks block 71 to 90% of infectious respiratory droplets from getting in or out. Maybe not perfect, but pretty close. But what if I don't feel sick? Do I still need to wear a mask? You can be infected with COVID-19 and feel perfectly fine. So can others around you. In fact, research shows that 40% of COVID-19 transmissions happen up to 48 hours before people experience any symptoms. And if you happen to be an asymptomatic super spreader, you may infect dozens of people, including your friends and family, without even knowing it. No one wants to be that person. The good news? Experts from around the globe agree that wearing a mask significantly reduces your chance of spreading and getting COVID-19. Is it dangerous to wear a mask for hours at a time? Well, consider this. Millions of healthcare providers, particularly operating room staff members, wear masks continuously, 8 to 10 hours a day, day after day, without suffering harmful effects. And they've been wearing masks since the 1920s, without suffering from carbon dioxide poisoning, a weakened immune system, or pleurisy. All common mask concerns. If it's safe for them, it's safe for us. Is there a wrong way to wear a mask? So glad you asked. You have to wear a mask correctly for it to work. Below the chin? Nope. Below the nose but over the mouth? Absolutely not. Your mask must cover both nose and mouth. And you have to remain vigilant and remember not to touch the outside of your mask. Oh, and also, don't forget to maintain physical distancing and hand washing. How does me wearing a mask help us get back to normal? It works like this. Masks slow the spread of COVID-19. Less COVID-19 in the community means more things open. Schools, restaurants, businesses, churches. That means our economy can thrive again. In fact, according to one of the world's leading investment firms, increasing mask use by just 25% could benefit the U.S. economy to the tune of around $1 trillion. We like the sound of that. We can't have a healthy economy without healthy people. So let's mask up, Utah. That way we can all get back to sweating it out in the gym, singing along at an outdoor concert, sending our children back to school, giving our grandparents a hug, and putting COVID-19 behind us.